Master Trainer Laura Mullinax here, and if you are anything like me, you are a coffee addict. With that being said, today's recipe is how to make coffee at home that's frothy and fun. And today we're going to make one that has birthday cake flavoring. So one of my favorite flavors, birthday cake. Can't get enough of it. All right, now I like things very, very simple. Okay, so I have an instant coffee. Uh, this one is Nature's Promise, and it's an organic instant coffee, and I like that because that reduces the amount of pesticides that I get in something that I drink on a regular basis. Now, this cup right here, I have already um, added water, and I heated it up in the microwave. I know, microwaves. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and pour that hot water into this Starbucks cup. Then I'm going to add one tablespoon of this instant coffee. And this one's my favorite because it really just has a really good flavor. And like I said, it is organic, so we're reducing the pesticides in it. Then I got this fun little pitcher at Target, and it is a frother. And before we froth this, we're going to go ahead and add one teaspoon, or wait, I think I got a half a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of this birthday cake. There we go. Of this birthday cake um, flavoring, so that's sugar free. So I don't have to worry about all the additional calories from that. Now, you take this lid from the frother and you want to line it up to where, see it has a pour part, you want that to be away, otherwise it's gonna splash. And then you hold the lid down and you just pump it up and down to froth the milk. Now, I used a half a cup of almond milk here and I did heat it up for about a minute so that it's warm because it'll froth better warm than it will cold. The best milk that they say to use is 2%, but you can use almond or coconut milk if you like that. I do that sometimes. Now, this, when, you know this is froth when it doubles in size. So that's what we're looking for, it to double in size. I'm gonna move that lid over for just a second. Take this up, ooh, nice and frothy looking. All right, ignore my mess here. I'm a little messy. And then you're gonna take that I mixed up the instant coffee in the water, and then you pour that into it. It makes it very, very frothy on top. See how that looks? Ooh, and there's still some in there. Should I take a... Ooh, look at that. Lots of froth there. All right, now, if you want to make it a little extra special, you can add this last ingredient. I use one tablespoon of chocolate syrup sometimes, just depends on if I'm in the mood or not. You just take one tablespoon. And just put it on top. It's for a fun decoration. Oh, look at my little crazy, it's going down over the edge. Anyway, then you can, Ooh, get that off there. Probably not gonna put the lid on, but you can pop the lid on after you drink some of the foam down. Mm-hmm. So good. And listen, guys. I mean, that's a half, half a cup of unsweetened almond milk with the birthday cake. So, so good. Um, and that's only 15 calories. And then if you add the tablespoon, again, you don't have to, but you're looking at 45 calories. So 45 and 15, you've got 60 calories in a really awesome coffee drink right here. So I'm definitely gonna go ahead and enjoy this. Mm.